see what we can do. God, the place is amazing. Hello everybody and welcome down to Carter's Golf. Today's video. Today's video is for every golfer in the world possible. Whether you're a complete and utter beginner or whether you're just here to laugh at my expense. So as every golfer knows, learning golf is difficult. So what I thought is I'm going to try and play golf left-handed in a way that I would expect and how I send my beginner clients out to play golf. We're going to play off the very forward tees we're gonna give ourselves every possible chance of enjoying the round of golf. Now, if I go for a bit of a bad spell, I'm gonna pop a little tee out and tee the ball up from the middle of the fairway. If I'm hacking away in a bunker, I'm gonna throw it out. I'm gonna basically try and get round the round of golf, left-handed, and enjoy it as much as possible. Before I get to a full 18 holes of golf, we have to build up. We have to start small. So today's vlog, I'm doing three holes. I'm going to set myself the target of double bogey or better on each of the holes. If I can finish three holes, six over par, I'll be buzzing. I've had a bit of a practice and I'm not bad left-handed. I'm, I'm, I'm all right with a seven iron. I can't make contact with a driver. So I'm going to try and stick with the seven iron. I'm going to play off the forward tees. I'm going to try and break the hole up in the way that I understand course management. So that's the that's definitely the advantage I've got at the moment. So I understand course management. I understand what the clubs do. I understand what I'm expecting to achieve from the clubs. That's what a beginner wouldn't understand at the moment. But hopefully that knowledge can resonate with some players. And when you go on the golf course, you're not scared to go on the golf course because there are lots of ways to play golf as a beginner. Enjoy the video and let's have a bit of a laugh. But also, for, be for the beginner golfers out there, this is a serious way for you to get yourself onto the golf course, not to be overly worried and affected by the surroundings and just enjoy it, all right? That was all right, to be fair. Look at that, decent. Power draw, low, decent strike. Big thing I've been working on when I've been trying to practice this is that the club face keep closing on me. I keep kind of getting that kind of lower ball flight and a lot of curve. Obviously, I know how to fix it. That's just one thing, knowing how to fix it. Doing it, different matter, isn't it? All right, so what I don't have the confidence with yet is using more club than a seven iron. So I'm just gonna stick with the seven iron, chip and a putt, let's make par. Ball above the feet, always helpful. Swing doesn't feel that bad. I've had a pit, hit a few balls on the range. Just got to try and really get into that impact position. The one, the main thing I've been focusing on, and this hopefully is a good tip for everybody, is just impact. Where my body needs to be as I'm striking the ball. So I'm trying to get my body weight forward, trying to get my hips turned, trying to get my hands ahead of the ball. So what kind of goes on back here, I'm really not focused on that much. Okay, I've got a bunker in my way, so I need a good strike to try and clear it. I've actually got about 170 to the flag. Right, need a bit high on this. Oh my god, what a strike! Turn, turn over, turn over, turn over, turn over. Oh. Hit the top of the bunker. I've nearly hit the green in regulation. Oh, what a strike. <laughs> Literally, that's hit the top edge of the bunker and bounced back in. A little bit more draw, and that's on the green. Oh, my word, I can't believe that. That's a career shot. All right, so just walking up to the green now, you'll see the trail mark. This would have been pretty decent, to be fair. So you can just maybe see where the... The, the ball has rolled back down the sand and there's a the pitch mark. Oh, that is heartbreaking. By the way, that's about a 10 to 12 foot bunker coming up and over. Had that clear, that would have been quite close, you know. Right, so this is definitely a tip for every golfer, beginner golfer, well, sorry, beginner golfer. Tee the ball up. Give yourself a nice lie. Now, to be honest with you, in times of COVID, 
and there's no rakes, we're allowed to do that anyway, so that's one positive. Like there, so I'm going to go straight up that pitch mark that I just created, which I'm still devastated about. Fourth position, I'm just going to put it towards the, the front and middle of my stance, and I'm just going to try and play a normal golf shot. I'm not going to try and open the face, I'm not going to try and get too cute with this. Basically, I don't know how to in terms of the swing. So I'm get the sand in, wait on my left side a little bit. Oh. oh my god! What a strike! I'm exhausted. It spun back. It's actually landed on the back fringe. I might just carry on playing like this. Okay, after years of going cat candid. I'm back at it. Wow, putters look weird. Okay, for par. Very unexpected circumstance. Oh, I was wheeling away for the victory. Oh, that's a bit pacey. All right, left edge. Did it. Bogey first hole. Oh, I'm done. I might just end the video there. I can't get any better than this. Right, so 175 from here. So. <laughs> 30 paces, and that's what we're left with. So that is 145. Seven is definitely too much. I'm gonna go eight time. Just gonna keep working on that same position. I'm always trying to work on impact, make sure I can try and clear my hips as best I possibly can, get the hands ahead of the ball and just try and control the face. Again, not really that much focus I do going into the backswing. I just try and make sure I don't get too static. So I've got a few things to be thinking about, which again, I think resonates quite well with the majority of golfers. There's so many things to think about on the golf swing when you're learning it. It's a great way of kind of just taking out any other distractions. Right, take away, turn. Miss it, miss it. Oh, we're on the green, kind of. It's a little bit thin on the strike. Pulled it a touch. Right edge of the green. Flags on the left edge. All right, so I haven't hit the green. I've hit too much club maybe 9.9 in the future so from about 145 well no actually no i'll take that back i did catch it a bit thin didn't i so yeah probably eight stroke 9.9 is your 145 yard club now i've got a lob wedge and this is what i'm faced with from the rough up and over the shoulder to the flag right so this is great for course management okay so let's talk about this me playing right-handed i'm opening the blade up i'm trying to get cute and i'm going to try and land it just on this fringe slash down slope to the left so it goes down the slope and moves from kind of left to right as we look at it. Me being a beginner left-handed golfer, I'm knocking it out there inside of 20 feet to get my two putt. Well, that's what I'm gonna try and do. Shanked it. <laughs> Shanked it to the middle of the green. That, my friends, is a good bad shot. All right, down the slope. This is all about pace. Again, so I'm gonna get an I'm gonna get an idea of what the line's saying, but the main thing here is all about the, the actual pace. Oh, four left. Oh, that was horrific. Really bad putt. This is actually quite difficult to get the perception on my alignment. Really struggling with that. Just, even the putter just looks horrible sat down like that. Good bet. Right. Damn it. Three putt double. Terrible first putt. 
I really wanted to say at the end of this hole that I've caught my tee shot a bit thin. I've shanked my second shot, but I've still two putted and made bogey, but the three putts just can, kind of compounded now a bad hole. So that's double bogey. That takes me to three over with one to play. All right, so my third hole, the golf course is at seventh hole, 475 yard par five. So obviously I'm a lot more forward than I would normally play this hole. Now I've got to think of strategy. I'm happy to make six or seven. This is obviously now where you get a little bit overconfident and whip out the old driver. I could probably get very, very close with three seven irons. Chip on two put, make six. That's your course management side of it. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm doing this purely for score, not ego. I don't need to stand there with driver and just think I'm amazing. Cause you know what, honestly, driver, probably missed the ball. Okay, so what I say to a lot of the golfers that I teach and when they're certainly a beginner level is you don't need to hit every shot perfect. You, I think in a round, in a golf hole, I think you need to hit one, maybe two, depending on the length of the hole, two good shots. And then you sometimes you can kind of get away with two or three bad shots as long as, and this is a great test of what, how good you are at golf, is how good your bad shot is. Now that bad shot there is horrendous. I'm lucky here that I'm gonna be on the path and I'm gonna take a little drop to the side over here. I'm gonna give myself a nice lie and I'm basically just gonna try again. There's a bit of pressure on this next shot now because I need a good second shot. Feel like it kind of gets me back in the hole and it makes the seven a bit more realistic again. So a bit of pressure now coming up. So Patrick read a few of these out of the way as well for a bit of extra help. Struck it well with a really, 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 really closed club face. Struck it really well. Kind of kept it down this line of the rough. Even though I feel like I was aiming nicely to the middle of the fairway, I've just hit that pull again, but the strike was good, so I feel a bit better. If I'm honest, I feel like I really remembered now how hard golf was to learn, so tricky, isn't it? Okay, so we're just about 110 yards away. Flag is cut just to the left of that bunker there. Obviously reachable now for my fourth shot. Big shot this, to be fair. I want to avoid that bunker. So I'm going to aim left of the flag. I've been pulling it a little bit. So I'm actually going to aim to the left side of the rough as well. Don't mind leaving it there. I'd much rather be left than, than in those bunkers. I've oh, played it so well. I've left it out to the left played it so good and I've left it left. That's okay. Chip on two put seven. Well, it wouldn't be an amateur's beginner's vlog if I didn't leave a 60 degree on the last green, would it? Unbelievable. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please do smash that like. I'm gonna try and get up and down now for my bogey, but I'll also be quite happy to take a seven on what's been a quite a, quite a challenging vlog. And I will have beat my score by one shot if I can get a chip and a two putt. If I can get it up and down, I am the happiest man on the golf course right now. That's the shot I'm faced with. I'm gonna talk you through how I'm gonna simplify this. There's a huge slope just on this side. So that's the bit I'm gonna be aiming for, the fatter part of the green and trying to get the slope to bring the ball round. I'm going to show you how now. Okay, so we often see golfers kind of slight overcomplicate the actual motion and they start using the wrist and everything like that. Pure beginner level for me is just try and land this about halfway and then just let it run. Now, obviously thinking with a professional's head on, trying to get the slope to work for me. But what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to basically imagine I'm putting it off the kind of middle to back of my stance. Just going to try and lock my wrist, just lock my arms see what we can do. Weight forward on that right side. Oh my God, played it amazing. Come on, come on slope, come on slope, come on slope. Come on slope, get in. <laughs> oh my God, are you serious? <laughs> 
Wow, that is the power of my dreams. That is the power of my life. Okay, so that is how you play the chip shot. What was that? One, two, three, four, par. I just made par, left-handed. I just chipped in, left-handed. I chipped in from a, from a hard chip as well. I'm buzzing. Right, that is, you know what guys, if you're new to, oh, there's the glasses. You know what guys, if you're new to the channel, I feel like that deserves to subscribe, doesn't it? It's free anyway. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Next time out, I'm gonna try and play a few more holes, but for today, the target was six over par. I shot three. Buzz in. Guys, thanks for watching. Follow me on social media platforms, and I'll see you in a bit.